Hi friends, this is the bag of the day and I thought I'd share it with you. It's the Vintage Coach Bleaker. It's the small bleaker. They came out in two sizes, small and large. Although this bag is small, it holds the same amount as a stewardess bag. It holds more than a your court bag, uh, a rambler. It holds twice as much. And I have this water bottle sitting beside it to show you how small the bag is. But it actually holds way quite a bit. I mean, way more than what you would expect. It has the antique solid brass. It has a back pocket. Now, it's showing up a beautiful mahogany maroon color on camera. But that's not the true color. The true color is a deep, dark raisin. And I wish it was this color in real life, but it's not. It has a snap magnetic closure, and it's a very strong mag magnet. You can see how strong that is, and I have this bag loaded down with stuff. It has the horse and carriage. It says Coach Leatherwear Established 1941. And the strap on the small... It's not real detailed like the strap on the large ones. The large ones has a braid and, uh, you know, it was it's braided leather and it's really nice. Very good uh, detailing in the strap. This one is just pretty much a plain strap with small detailing on it. It's not as fancy as the large. It's smooth leather on one side and then on the other side it feels like a sanded suede. Like this really smooth suede. It has four adjustments. This is the tatter saw. That's what that print's called, the tatter saw silk. It has this leather pad. It has a pocket in the front. And uh, let's get my stuff out and I'll show you the bag and we'll talk about it. It holds quite a bit, and I still, I have this bag packed and still had plenty of room in it. Let me get my stuff out, and we'll talk about it. It has a zipper in the back. It has this D-ring for your keys. This bag came out in the 2000s. It has a slip pocket here and a cell phone pocket here. Now, if you get a, a vintage coach that's got the leather trim and, uh, you know, the leather inside, the leather uh, lining, the raw backside, and it has a sewn-in uh, cell phone pocket, then it's fake because, you know, the cell phones didn't come out back then. But this bag here, it has the glazing, which I don't care much for glazing but on this bag, I don't mind it because I'm going to show you. Glazing on a flap, usually it goes all the way down the side or down, you know, down the side or the back. And right here where you open and close the bag is a stress point right here. And in time, that will crack. But see, this, it stops right here where it should. This is a, a well thought out made bag. The leather is very silky and smooth. It feels like lamb, like lamb's leather, but it's not. It's a full grain cowhide, glove tan glove hide. And it's a very, very nice bag. The hang tag on this bag is slightly bigger than your average vintage coach hang tags. It's just slightly bigger, and it has this brass ring on it, and the ball chain is bigger than your average, and that's solid brass. Let me show you the two side by side, so you can see how much bigger. But yeah, there you have it. This is the bleaker, and these bags are hard to find. They're considered rare and a collectible item. Now, if you go to Google and you type in the bleaker and this uh, style number and you click on shopping, you won't find the bag. But if you click on images, you will find the bag where it had been 
you know, online on the pre-loved market for sale. But they're all sold, you know, everybody sold them and uh, you can't find them anymore. And if you do, and, you know, it's a very good find. You should grab it because these bags are highly sought after. And, uh, yeah, my daughter got me this one for Christmas a few years ago, a, a while back. And uh, I've only carried it a couple of times. The strap was really stiff, but it's loosening up now, you know, with time and uh, conditioner. It's loosening up quite a bit. And right here where the split is, on the back side, that split is not there. It's over here. See, let me show you the how. See, it's right there on this side. And on the back side, it's right here. And that's a good thing, too, because in 20 years' time, that could split and break. If this seam right here was right underneath this one over here, uh, this way it won't crack and it won't, you know, in time, it'll, la it'll last a lot longer. But it's a beautiful bag. It's the Coach Bleaker. And, uh, yeah, I really don't have much more to say about it. It's just really a, a unique bag. The back of it has this leather trim and it sticks out from the bag. And the front doesn't have that. trying to show you here yeah it doesn't have that on the front I'm just trying to show you how the bags made it's really a uh, thought out when they made this bag but there you have it stay safe thanks for watching and have a great day bye